She admits she had a torrid affair with Fidel Castro nearly 60 years ago, and now Marita Lorenz is talking about it to NBC6. The relationship lasted about eight and a half months and impacted the German-American woman for life. NBC6 reporter Natalia Ortiz reports from New York, where Lorenz lives. The Cuban Revolution had just taken over. At the time, Marita Lorenz, a 19-year-old girl, meets Fidel Castro in Havana. It took her from being a lover to a spy. How did you meet Fidel? Marita Lorenz was 19 years old when she met Fidel Castro on February 27, 1959, aboard a German ship her father captained into Havana Harbor. And he came on board the ship. He wanted to see the ship, and I was there. Almost My six decades later, captain. Castro's ex-lover lives in a New York City assisted living yes. facility. So this was Fidel Castro with your father? Yes. Yet can recount her story of love and lies in full detail. She admits she was clueless. I didn't even know he was in power. He could have been a mechanic somewhere. But his eyes and his hand, and I fell for him. Hook, line, and sinker. Days later, Marita returns to New York City, where her family settled after the Second World War. Castro wanted her by his side at the hotel that's now called the Havana Libre, which he had turned into his headquarters. It was there, in room 2408, that their tempestuous love affair began. He didn't want me to leave the room, didn't want me to talk to anybody, you know, unless he was there, you know. Would you consider him a controlling person? He was uh, very into himself, narcissistic, and you have to, it's better if you do what I say, you know. And did you? I was very submissive and stupid and staying there and waiting for him and believing him. What was Fidel Castro like as a lover? Mm. Normal, because I think dictators are very much into themselves. You say you then became pregnant sometime after that with yes. Fidel's child. Yes. There have been conflicting oh, versions God, I know. of what happened with that pregnancy and I with know that child. That. I know. I know. She says the last thing she remembers is being given a glass of milk to drink at eight months pregnant. I was totally out of it, drugged. I woke up in a in a room with lights like that and in severe pain, and that's all I remember. I don't know if the baby died or lived. Loren says she was sent back to New York bleeding from the procedure and was immediately admitted to Roosevelt Hospital. That's where she went from lover to spy. They recruited me right in the hospital in New York, the CIA. They have my signature. <sighs> they said, now you work for us. Tonight at 11, Marita Lorenz reveals what led her to join anti-Castro groups in Miami and her alleged connection to the Kennedy assassination. And as Natalia reported, Marita Lorenz was not only Fidel Castro's lover, but she says she became a CIA agent assigned to kill him. Why she says she didn't, plus the other dictator she loved. Join us for that part of the story tonight at 11.